Welcome back guys. The weather has been shocking here recently and we all know Range Rovers don't like bad weather. Well, mine doesn't. Namely, it's been raining a ton here and inevitably I've had another little message pop up in my dash. This time it says radar sensor blocked. Now I'm not really too worried about it. It sounds expensive, but I've come to learn these little messages that pop up, they aren't normally big things and you can often just fix them yourself with my special uh, magic wand, which is the jet wash. It's um, to do with the adaptive speed control. Now, uh, when the system's visibility has been reduced, um, maybe there's been an obstruction or something, it flashes up this warning because it's basically blocked, it can't see anything. So the whole point of it is to scan for objects in the road. So, you know, vehicles, road signs, lampposts, grannies, that kind of stuff. And if it can't find them, it just has a hissy fit and it brings this little message up saying radar sensor blocked. So how do you fix it? It's literally as easy as jet washing. Um, you can probably see in some of my other videos, jet washing is king with the Range Rover. If there's issues with it, um, jet wash it and it generally fixes it. I'm gonna do a video soon, the wheel's fallen off, jet washed it, sorted it out. So if I show you now, the adaptive speed control settings are here on the steering wheel. These are basically your adaptive cruise control. It ultimately lets you control how close you wanna tailgate someone. <laughs> ultimately, that's probably the easiest way of describing it. You can get nice and close or further away if you want to and the radar is located in the bumper. So if there's a blockage, whether you've gone through like loads of crud or crap or mud or snow or ice or anything like that, chances are it's been blocked. So get your jet wash out and give the whole of your front bumper, the front underneath, just jet wash the hell out of it. And it should generally fix the problem, like um, I've said with my other videos as well. And that's pretty much it. So if you've got a message coming up in your dash saying radar sensor blocked, you now know pretty much what it is gonna be and how to fix it. You probably don't even need to take it to the shop or the garage to get it fixed. Obviously, if it does keep persisting, then you may need to get it looked into, but hopefully that's all it is. So get your jet wash out and off you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If it's helped, please consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up and drop a comment. See you soon.